Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Team Fortress TV. My name is Ryushi. Joining me is Kratos, and on our camera is manned by John today. We apologize for the wait. There were some issues with the STV and server. TF2 is, as always, a beautifully made game. But it looks like we are finally ready to get started and finally ready to cast this wonder of a game. Both teams are ready. I've told them they can ready up whenever they like, so hopefully we're going to get started pretty, pretty soon. And on that note, Kratos, I mentioned you earlier, but welcome to the cast. Yeah, hello and welcome for me as well. Good evening, and yeah, sorry for me as well for the some issues we had. But finally, we can go to start and then hopefully have a great game. Yeah, absolutely. This is, of course, week three match between Lazy Pandas and GG World Played Pro. So uh, we've got a Russian team and a sort of a mix slash Highlander team. So it'll be interesting to see what they're going. Lazy Pandas, of course, coming out of a couple of roster changes, swapping out their scout tracker for Yang Pai, who is also Russian, and swapping out their medic Steve Panda for Kisakala, who is an ex scout, I think, main. I, I, I think that's what mm, he's yeah, to main. Yeah, as well. But uh, now he's switching up to medic and see what he's doing. I'm not sure how many times they PCW'd you yet, but it might be an upgrade in my opinion. Like Yang Pai is really a strong scout, and I'm not sure about Kisakala, but. I'm sure Zoops and Hildur's calls will help him a lot. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've 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 seen a couple of PCW results, and it looks like they're doing a lot better with Kessa and uh, Yang Pai. So this should be a very interesting game. GG well played, of course, not without their share of uh, uh, member changes, as um, MSH has once again left the roster, and they appear to be playing with a Spicy. So he's another Russian scout, I think. I'm not quite sure who he plays for at the moment. Seems um, like we're going live, by the way. Oh yeah, excellent. So of course, if you just joined us, this is Team Fortress TV. I'm Raishi. Joining me is Kratos. Manning our camera is John. This is an ETF 12 Week 3 match between the Lazy Pandas on blue and GG World Played Pro on red. And this is going to be our first middle of the game. So here we go. Red coming up aggressive onto that train. Trying to find the positions. A soldier's going to jump in onto balcony. Kiss is actually going to go down really early to Atomic. And Forsaken's going to pick Mookie as well. That's four down for Lazy Pandas, so not a good start for them. Both their scouts are still alive, but Lazy Pandas going to pick Atomic, but is it going to be enough? Uh, I, I doubt it. But it's just a little bit of a pride pick there for him. And the middle's going to go really easily to GG World Played Pro. So they're coming out strong there, Kratos. Yeah, they had some good position there on point. Like JDK was just staying on the pain and they were just killing the Roma really early. Like Muki tried to jump around from the shithouse and picked really, really early. Zoop tried to follow up but got picked as well. So that was an easy round for GG World Played already. Like I'm pretty sure they will get the last already. Yeah. With a heavy up top left. Hildreth blaming it in chat on the fact that Kizkala was AFK when they started, but hey, we can't all believe what <laughs> Hildreth said. White Glow did go down there to a sticky trap from Hildreth, so GG World Play probably not the perfect push that they're looking for, but as everyone dies on Lazy Pandas, it's yeah. going to be an easy last point to cap. So that's going to be 1-0 already, and this is a pretty quick 1-0 as well. So we'll see if Lazy Pandas can bring anything to the next middle that, uh, well, you know, maybe some kills. That, that, that might be a start. Yeah, I mentioned as well, like, Hildreth has reached the middle already. After his rollout, so it might be a fact that the middle pipe. Let's see Absolutely. with the house rollout now. Sticking up their house, just doing some damage already. Hildus is pretty weak, he's stuck in house. But actually, they can just push back in with that with the heals and regroup on middle now. They got the medic, so they have the uber advantage as well. They should be pushing the spiral. Forsaken is in house, he might go try to go for the middle block. Oh, actually not. He's trying to go for the medic. Let's see what he can do there. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get this. He's he's pretty low. He's actually just picked up a health pack, but uh, he might get spotted out if he's not careful. And uh, Kiss Carl has actually moved really far oh. forward. Mookie's going to get picked actually by Forsaken, who've had yeah. him in house. Uh, he's going just, for the medic this morning. And oh Kiss wow, he's going down. That's well played by Forsaken. That was really nice play. That is really, really unfortunate for him there. Um, and now it looks like the rest of Lazy Pandas are going to get pushed up, uh, cleaned up. So they get their first middle, but it doesn't seem to be working out too well on that transition, leaving that soldier behind. I didn't think it would work out for Forsaken, but well, I mean, getting a med drop is pretty much all you want, really. And GDK is actually True. moving really far forward now. He's actually going to catch out Mookie. No, Mookie actually sort of predicts him there and hits a couple of rockets into his face. And now GGL Play Pro don't have a. Uh, a, a demo to defend this middle, but I don't think it's going to be enough. It might oh. slow down their push onto second, though. Yeah, they, like, they have good spawners here, that's just spawn forward as well, so they should be able to spam them and choke a bit, maybe even make them pop, or just get some percentages and block the fire with that uber. 
Uh, let's see, we see a restart post there from GG where I played with both soldiers and the scout. Let's see if they can spam them. They have to use really early. One soldier is going to drop down. He's trying to flank them into top lobby and Kisakala is going back down again. That played another time off Forsaken. Oh wow. Uh, Forsaken and Shadow then just going, cleaning everyone up between them there. Hildreth is the only one going to be left alive in one health yeah, and trash and he's just going to go down. Yeah. Uh, really well played by you, well played there then. Yeah, there was a nice flank there. Like, they got popped really early, but Forsaken just uh, flanked them through the top lobby, through the drop down. So that was well played by him. And getting their medic and they couldn't get back uh, early enough. Yeah. Let's get on the Shadowburn camp for this middle, because of course, Shadowburn too is one of the upcoming roamers of the season, or upcoming Ooh. soldiers, should I say. So we'll see what he's going to be able to do on this third middle of Badlands. Um, and he's just going to sort of take that. He's, he's, he's going to jump straight up into house. He's going to deny the scouts, take a little bit of spam damage, and then look to jump straight onto Kisakala, but maybe you no, know, he fakes it a little bit, goes into house, picks up a scout. Now he's going to come up behind Kisakala, although Kisakala just does manage to get out, and actually. It looks, seems to be alright going alright. Oh, I said that. I said that, I jinxed it. Forsaken and Atomic, clean up, kiss her at Lazy Bear and everyone else. And that is yeah. going to be our third middle. And did you play Pro coming out of it strong again? Yeah, but still, like, we were watching Shadowburn and he got denied really early. Like, they had two scouts just predicting it to go really deep inside or something. They were just staying inside Oak and waiting for Shadowburn, so we could only distract them a little bit. So it was looking good for Lazy Panda there, but. Actually, they couldn't do much of this after the cleanup crew came in. Yeah, we're in this fight for Spire. GG well played pro. Only, only sent in like three players there, and they managed to get two picks out of it. Um, so, not really the best situation for Lazy Pandas. Uh, they are 2 0 down at the moment, and they are going to be defending their last. They do have. Yeah, they've even got Uber disadvantage as well, because White Glow really building that fast. Is he running crits? Yeah, we see crits from both teams, actually. Like, White Glow has a. Huge advantage though was like 50% or 40% even. This could be really dangerous. DDK of course known as one of the best critters in Europe. And he's going to be coming and they... forward now. He's No, they're not going to pop it just yet. His color's on 80% now. So if they can get that in time, they they, 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 they could surprise the Russians out on the balcony here. Oh, this is going to be interesting, Rashi. Like both of the teams with the crits now. Let's see, Lady Panda's trying to push out with Loop there. Soldier crits, we soldier crit for second one, the fight loops going down. Kiss are kinda probably going down as well. There we go. And that's just unfortunate for Lady Panda. They lost the crits fight there. Yeah, both both electing to use their soldiers as well. Um no demo crits, it's just fighting in top lobby with their pockets. In yeah, in, in interesting choice. And I have noticed that White Glow is staying on that crit screen, I th I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's probably the better choice if the enemies are closer, then it's hard for a demo and difficult for a demo to just uh, get the kills there. Yeah, okay, so we'll see what's gonna happen now as. Um, JDK now is really weak, he's going down already. Oh wow, that's 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 really good play by Mukin Zoo. Working together, take down a couple of big damage classes, and now they're just gonna try and clean up as many people as possible. The point is slowly being capped, and Yakpai's actually gonna pick up Atomic as well with the, f with the fadeaway frag from uh, the pistol. And now with aggressive Hildreth, Hildreth is really aggressive on sort of alone on second right now. He's got a scout with him now, but that was a nice play by him. And they might actually catch out the crits here. Um, if they can get a good positioning on it, they might force it out or even drop. Oh, yeah, yeah, White, White Claw is stuck in resupply. Can't really do much. They probably have to crit the soldier another time. There we go. See the soldier crits. Demo's going really weak. Hildreth's going down. Kisakala doesn't have it yet. Oh, oh he actually got it now. Oh, that's lucky. Literally just got it. That's so close. Yeah. But he's really low and he's only got a scout with him right now. I don't know Lazy. where Lazy Bear is. I thought Lazy Bear was going for him. last. He's fighting Edblow and got the last. Oh, wow, nice. He just went past them. He just went through the balcony area, then through top lobby onto the last point. All right, well, that's going to be our first round for Lazy, uh, for Lazy Pandas over there. So uh, we'll see if they're going to be able to come off that momentum and really win themselves another round here. Um, yeah. As we push forward onto our fourth middle, uh, taking away Kratos. So we see Hildreth's going through the house and JDK is actually going through house as well. So both teams on the train. Hildreth's going down to Shadowburn Roam there, but Mookie's got JDK as well. So this is 3 on 4 for Lazy Pandas there. They have the better position, it should be their middle. But White Glow managed to survive anyway, so could we push it? I have a quit. No, no, it's normal Uber. Yeah, it's normal or both of them, and they're pretty much exactly the same. So this is looking good for Lazy Pandas right now. They could actually try pushing as it's five v three. There's just got a couple of small yeah, GDK play pro, and they could try and force them out as well. Playing really defensive on the bridge now. They've got GDK back though, so it's going to be dangerous with the extra spam. Um, but they're all standing together. 
they're, they're taking so much damage together. This is not good. Kiss Kala gets forced really, really early there, and they're going to be pushing forward, and they're not even getting... Oh, they are, actually. Why guys actually going to pop his Uber? Bit of a strange decision there, but now they're getting an aggressive. TDK is taking that position forward. He's actually taking so much damage there from Lazy, Lazy Bear, but doesn't manage to finish off the frag. And now Hildred is going to pick up Forsaken in house. Both soldiers from blue are bombing in, trying to get as much damage as possible. Yang Pai is going to pick up a double onto Waiglo and GDK. And now they are going to be really just trying to clean up these last few scouts. Spicy is going to be alone, I think, to defend last. And Lazy Bear is already on his way there to try and kill him. Yang Pai as well. And we'll see what they're going to be able to do. They force him back in spawn, but oh, I think there's someone already down. on the point. But they're failing yeah. to cap second. This is so slow. They're, they're letting so many spawns. White Glow, GDK are up now. This is going to have to. This is going to be a problem. They're going to need to back up soon. They can't stay for a longer. And Kizakala's oh. actually going to go down there. So for their avarice, they are actually going to get destroyed. Lazy Bear's going to pick up GDK, which might help them repush now. It's only the yeah, two. Yeah, they're up. trying to go and think it's going down. Mookie has some nice rocket there. But that was indeed really, really slowly played by Lazy Panda. They could have probably stacked the second point or something for a while and then push up to last. They were a bit too slow there, but well, at they least had, they got white blow dead. They, they, they had everyone except Mookie on like last, and they yeah. had like, not even cap second. Uh, that's just... That was really, really over aggressive. I mean, it could have worked, but they just didn't weren't able to get the spawn camp off properly. And now they've sort of reset a little bit. Kiss Carlos has got slight advantage, but only by about 3 or 4%. So they're just going to be looking to build this up as soon as possible, and maybe look to trade Ubers again. Yeah, like this is a slight advantage for Lazy Pun, but I'm not sure if they can really work with that. They probably don't even know that they have the advantage, but we'll see. They're just building outside now. And yeah, JDK is actually hiding in main, having a trap in main lobby. Maybe he can pick up anyone there. Or oh, they're actually just climbing up the spire, so probably won't be able to. Well, he's got a couple of traps all over the place, and they, ha and they, they also have a heavy of Atomic on last, so be interested to see what he's going to be able to do. Uh, oh, it'll be interesting to see what Lazy Pandas are going to be able to do pushing in against that. They do lose Yang Pai earlier on, but he's just respawned now. And it's going to be just like a slow siege, and they're going to take forward lobby now. Zub and Hildreth are here. Kiss is going to join them right now. And maybe look to just get in and destroy that heavy. Yeah, like, just same situation, so they just have to try to go for a pick, just send someone into the force or something. Let's see what they will do. Wing. Zoop is trying to peek in a bit from main, but there's so much spam, so he can't really show his face there. The White Globe is getting a little bit aggressive. Looked like he might have wanted to push out into the lobby with his soldier, but no, they've just backed up once again. Just going to stalemate it out. It's of course 3-1 with 20 minutes left to go, so... Did you uh, want to play Pro-Tank? Just a single over to main. Oh, actually, Scout and so far. Scout is going for White Globe, making him pop. Lazy Pandas is hiding now on the top right. He might try to go for the backup or something. He's doing it really sneak. They're falling back through the top left and GG where I played is pushing up. Atomic just found him, that was unlucky. <laughs> yeah, oh, but Lazy Bear managed still manages to kill him. <laughs> and there's going to be a soldier of Shadowburn with 169 HP on the point, so Lazy Bear's not even going to try for that. And it's just going right. to get cleaned up in lobby as well. So the backcap strat's not going to work as Lazy's going to get caught out by that heavy. And should, I think, be a recap here for GG well played, bro. Yeah, probably. There's a couple of players out in second for, for uh, Lazy Pandas, and they're actually going to try to jump at it, but. I don't think they're going to be able to get just in time. Oh, Zoop oh. catching Spicy with the nice direct there. And maybe even going to be able to get out alive as well. He's taking a lot of damage, but he should be able to meet up with his medic. Yeah, Forsaken just kept it now. Oh, catching the pipe, so Forsaken might go down. Oh, J oh wow. JDK just saved his life. Yeah, I'm going to pick up Lazy Bear as well. So, three down now. They're going to have to back up and probably give yeah. up this middle as well. Especially yeah, the if White Glow's on 90%. If they can force him to pop though, that'd be good. But I doubt they're going to be able to do it with three players. Well, they're already far back to the top. They'll just try to build this Uber for the second point then to defend the spiral. Yeah. Time has been added. So yeah we see. Well, we see a sniper out of Lazy Bear, so maybe they're going to try and yeah. get the drop on White Glow. See what they can do. They're still stuck in choke from the sicky trap of it. So they will get it in time, but let's see what Lady Bear is doing. They have some position in the choke, Lady Pair got some view, the view on the white glow, and he made them pop actually. That's so a really good result. Oh, yeah, sorry, actually. Again. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. So yeah, it's picking up Shadowburn there, on left back. It's a really good result, and now they're actually maybe going to catch out white glow and Shadowburn, but no, Hildreth and Lazy Bear are going to be the first to go down there. The white glow does go down in the end, and now there's only three up, Atomic, uh, GDK and the two scouts for you well played, and they're going to have to back up to middle right now, and they can actually get pushed out here. Kiss has got two soldiers and a scout, and we are going to be paused. I hope I hope the server hasn't crashed. Uh, hopefully. 
I think we are paused. Okay, it's going to be a pause. And uh, I mean, it. What's what, what's your take on the game so far, Krasos? Do you think uh, Leeds, Leeds Pandas they, they gave up three rounds pretty quickly? But I mean, how's how, how's it going for them overall? You think? Oh, uh, it's not too bad, I guess. Like if you could saw on this. Um, Spire fight, they played it really well. They made them pop really early with that sniper and then just got back in the game, I guess. Or in this round, even. So, let's see, they have the uber advantage now. They might bring it to a 3 2 already. But uh, let's see this. I, I, I don't know if they can. Mookie and Yangpai both get dropped on entrance to mid and it's just, they're just gonna back out. They're, they're gonna wait for their uber advantage and then just push with that, I think, 6v6. Yeah, that maybe. Chadaburn almost getting caught out there. And actually, uh, they're getting really, really aggressive um, onto uh, Blue Second right now. And just pushing without an Uber advantage is just seems to be scaring them away. And Kiss is actually going to go down, down on like well. 90% there. Zoom's going to pick up Spicy for it, but it's not going to be enough. They need to get absolute destruction onto the red players, but they're not going to be able to do it at the moment because they're just losing players left, right, and center. Lazebet's in on the medic. Is he going to be able to do anything? Like low dodging like a pro, but Lazebet is going to get pistol down by Atomic in the end there. So a full wipe for Lazy Pandas there, not what they really wanted, especially when they've got 30% uber advantage. Indeed, yeah. I don't see what they were doing there. Like, they had uh, Shadowburn going for the backhand and trying to catch him out, but they couldn't manage to kill him and then they didn't push up and try to go for the damage and for the uber advantage, just went back to balcony and hold there. I'm not sure though where Kisakala was going down, but I guess it wasn't the right decision to hold so far back there. Okay, I've just been told that they paused because uh, Hildreth broke his keyboard during the rollout, so um, maybe pulling oh, yeah, a little I bit see. of a darn there. Uh, but yeah, he's going to be slow to middle. I doubt Lazy Pandas will even turn up to this middle because it's just not 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 worth it with Hildreth not even being on second. Yang is actually going to get caught out at choke. That's not good. I'm going to say yeah, that indeed. that is not good when they're not even supposed to be turning up and they're still losing a player. Yeah, so it's one man advantage, and TGW Play is surely going to push on it. And they are already far back, the pandas, but they should try to block the spire anyway. They shouldn't give it for free there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, G GDK's on it at the moment. He's getting as much time as possible. But now he's just going to jump down onto Grey Bridge. Mookie's going to get picked off on the flanks right now. And they're just going to have to sort of block it as much time as possible. Hildred might even get caught up by GDK here. He does. Forsaken coming in to help out his buddy. And quite as well getting caught out. And by, it seems to be doing alright this game, but he just keeps getting caught out so many times. He's so aggressive, and it's just not working out for the rest of his team. Kiss is actually going to get popped on last by an aggressive jump forward by, I think, Shadowburn. Um, and now with that, there is no Uber to defend this last. White Glow comes in as well, but they just seem to be hemorrhaging players left, right, and centre, both teams. And the point is just going to get capped right now, and GDK is going to pick up more frags. That yeah. was a really messy last. In fact, that, that was a really messy round overall, just not helped by the fact that, keep, that he'll just keyboard broke. Mm, yeah, they keep splitting up too much. Like, Hildus was staying on Balcony and Zoop and their medic uh, Kisakala was just in trash and they just got picked up one by one. That's not really what they're aiming for, I guess. Well, so again, we see, see how they're going to be doing. On J uh, GDK, picking him up there. So they should be able to repush. Tildus is just going across the front, having some good position there. So that's middle is going to late. They should that keep pushing. That's no demo alive for, for GG oh. replay. That was a really, really nice jump. Now Spicy's actually in house at the moment, so he might get caught out. They do actually catch Forsaken as they push in, and Tomic going down as well. Spicy's so far forward, he's surely going to get caught out as well. So that is three down for GG well played. And Kisser just surfs out, keeping that Uber alive for as long oh, as possible. Well played. So, so this should be a point for probably. Lazy Pandas. Should like, be. They have spawned though and they still have the Uber. GDK is going down to 40 HP so he won't be in the fight if they're doing it fast now. He was probably inside the spawn or just really weak. Oh, they're coming in. Left. They're going to force the Uber out of both sides but with Lazy Bear still down. It's not going to be good enough for them to push. They're just going to back out into top lobby. So they lost their advantage there. If they'd been just slightly quicker with the combo, I think they could have still got it while White Glow was on like 95% there. Yeah, probably. So again, yeah, just a little bit too slow this time. Like the last time they were really fast and now they were a little bit too slow. Yeah. Yeah, well, they're, 
they are basically a new team with two new members on it, so yeah, actually. <laughs> still still trying to work out those kinks yet. Yeah, Mookie's actually going to get catch every single pipe that GDK throws out there and go down on the stairs. So uh, not not quite what he was looking for there. And with that, Uber, it, although they do have slight Uber advantage, Mookie's not going to be able to take advantage of it, and they can't really push 6v5, especially against the I enemy. don't think they will. I don't think they will either, but never know. Hill Hildreth pulls out crazy strats from time to time. Yeah, like maybe it was just a tactical suicide. He's going to play heavy now. Oh Let's yeah, see. that's that's a really good shout. Actually, I did not notice that. Um, yeah, where do you think they'll push them with this heavy? Yeah, they're just singly bringing Zoop in. He's actually going down. What the fuck was it? Oh well, sorry for that's this word. Man. No, I I totally agree. That was that that was appropriate there because seriously, what was that? Mookie's also going to get picked up lower. Oh, and there is the just going to be a backup by Lazy Bear. <laughs> wow. Oh, see, I told you crazy strats. That was totally, totally <laughs> planned. I'm, I'm, I'm going to believe that Hildreth planned that. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess actually the plan was just to send soup in and then we push with this heavy, but... Well, they might even want to go for the backup, who knows? <laughs> Both demos get into middle about the same time. Hildreth taking actually a lot more damage, so he could be in a lot of danger right now, but both scouts for... In fact, Mookie's actually going to get finished off really early on now, and now that Kiss is down as well, it's going to be not looking good for Lazy Pandas. There's only three up, two up now. They should really need to get back, or at least just try and get a glory pick on the medic, just for some... Why not? Yankpai's going to pick up GDK, happen, but... That was, that was, that was a well-played middle from GG well-played. Picked up Mookie really early on before he could actually do anything. When he jumps, he jumps really well and he can do a lot. But if you catch him, he's just completely useless. Yeah, indeed. Well, then, then again, that, that, that is with most roamers, to be honest. Yeah, obviously, like, it's really hard if they have scouts who are just waiting for you and denying you or something. So we see Wetlow on the spiral and he had to use this Uber wow. He's down to 20 HP, so couldn't do much. But they still managed to pick up Hill with them. I'm not sure why he was that close there, though. Bit of an overextension there, and now they're going to come straight into main, even with the fact that they don't have an uber and they're all lit. Shadowman's just going to jump up straight, but they are just going to rush the point and going to catch it out. That's going to bring us to 6 too, so one more round for GG well played, and they can win this match. Or win this map, should I say. And then we'll get mm, on yeah. to our second map, which is going to be the dreaded turbine, which, well, I have no idea how to play it, let alone cast it, so... <laughs> that, that could go anything. But it is going to be the first turbine map, I think, that we've seen so far in ETF2L. This season, should I say. Obviously, we've seen it before, but... Just to say the least, so but this middle Mookie is going on. So, we have inside Shittos already. Zoop is jumping them, and Mookie got denied as well. Zoop managed to pick up a white blow there, though. So, it's only GDK and Forsaken alive for them. They should be able to push up the spiral already. Yeah, it's they catch only GDK Forsaken in alive. Forsaken is going for the medical kill. Oh, oh Kisakala is really weak on 19 HP, though. Almost. Going down, but he managed to survive this. Yeah, so that's a complete wipe for GG World well Played. So nine minutes left. I mean, it's possible to get four rounds for Lazy Pandas. It's definitely possible within the time constraints. So uh, we'll see if they're going to be able to do it actually, because they get this point forward. They've got 100%. If they're going to push in, bring us to six three. This, this, this could be the morale boost that they need. Yeah, maybe they can go for the momentum. Like it's still nine minutes on the clock, so it's still possible though. Absolutely. It's going to be tough to push in against the Heavy and the Pyro though. Especially with the positions, positions that they've chosen. They're going to push straight in, straight into the Pyro. The Pyro's just going to come in and completely deny this Uber right now. They're not getting any damage down. Lazy Bear's going to go down as well. And so much damage coming into that top. Uh, Mookie got picked as well. Yeah, that's, that's not good. GDK is now going to come out. He's going to actually get a Yang Pai onto him who picks GDK there. But it's I don't think it's going to be enough for them to repush uh, immediately. Mm, let's so, see, like, Lazy Pandas is really far back though. But they have the spawner, so the way play shouldn't push this without a demo and without one soldier. Mookie's gonna spawn on the sniper, so we'll see what he's gonna be able to do with that. So if he's gonna be able to hit any headshots, I don't think we've seen any headshots from anyone this entire <laughs> game so far, which I'm really disappointed about. But uh, they're just gonna sort of like slow seed from main, try and get as much damage as possible, and see if Mookie can get any picks on anyone who shows their face. is actually gonna go really deep, he takes a huge amount of damage, he's on 15 health right now, but still manages to pick up Zoo, but now they're rushing for the point, and a lot of damage, the Uber actually gets forced out of White Glow to try and save the point as much as possible. Kiss Colors on 95%, can he get this in time to save anyone, or at least repush this point? He's not his. He's going to Uber in a scout onto last. Oh. The scout is going to try and take down White Glow. He is going to manage it. Now Atomic is going to try. He takes Kiss down Kissakala. Can he out duel Lazy Bear? I don't know. Lazy Bear is going to try and do this as much as possible. No, GDK spawns and takes him down. Unlucky for Lazy Bear there. And Atomic is the victor of that entire last point, I think.
Yeah, actually, like, it was a bit unlucky though, like, Kizakala was trying to cap the point, he just changed his weapon, the, the Uber is off, and then got picked off because he was, like, on 30 HP or something, I believe. So, it was just unlucky or just a bit, I don't know, just a bit dangerous what he tried, a bit risky. Well, I think the Uber was basically over at that point, so might as well go for the point, because he's not getting that alive, basically. I think he'd realize uh, yeah. that, so he might as well just go for the point at that point. Thanks, Doc. I think so. Yeah, White Glow, of course, now has 15% advantage, so we'll see what he's going to be able to do. Uh, they, they probably won't even push out of this last. They can just turtle on it for as long as possible. They are, of course, four rounds ahead right now, which is a little, you know, disappointing, but, I mean, it is entirely legal, and uh, it, it the ball is in Lazy Panda's court to push right now. Mm, yeah, like, Lazy Panda has to do something. GDK is really aggressive in lower lobby. He managed to pick up Hildreth there, and this will delay the push for another, like, 10 seconds at least, because it is just spawning in 5 seconds there. So they will have to wait for Hildes to spawn before they can even, yeah, make a push there. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got to say personally that this Lazy Pandas team is a lot better than the one I casted in week 1. Um, but there's still obvious, like, kinks and stuff that they're, they're not showing. Like, Hildes getting picked off there was just bad. The Ubers are going to get forced out. Uh, a lot of damage done to Forsaken on Heavy, but now they're going to get chased out by Shadowburn. He's trying to try and do as much damage as possible, but he's going to meet Zub in lobby and back up. Uh, so, Russians, they're content to just trade Ubers and just hurtle on their last once again. Forsaken yeah. trying to, going to try and do as much damage as possible. Mookie's going to pick GDK there, and now that point is almost getting capped by Laser Bear, who's almost, almost just does it. And now they need to sit someone on that point at all times, which is going to open up the door for Hildra to just put as much damage down on it as possible. In comes Zub from... No, where's Zoob? Zoob's behind the point. That's where Zoob is. With 44 health. Can he just even touch this point to cap it? There's a heavy on it. I don't think he can. Oh, probably not. He's really weak already. But he's <laughs> actually going for white clone killing him. Wow. It's ridiculous. That, I... I don't even know. Like... Like, <laughs> how do you let that happen, Atomic? Atomic? Uh, I guess it's Atomic, yeah. It's Atomic on the heavy. Oh, this is ridiculous. I bet he's and getting some abuse from White Glow in Mumble right, right now. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. we see a new advantage now for Lazy Pandas. White Glow just spawned and GDK is going down, so they should be able to do something now. They have to get up this heavy though. Like they was doing a lot of work on the last and still on 300 HP and the Ubers almost faded. But okay, well, they just kept it off. Like yeah, why that's not? Gonna be that's six three with five minutes left on the clock. That's still possible within time restraints. Like a minute and a half, you can cap a point. Uh, yeah, of course it's possible. Maybe they take the momentum now and go for a comeback. Yeah, absolutely. It's not without the realms of possibility. It's see what they're going to be able to pull, pull out this middle. See if they're going to pull anything, anything strange, anything dangerous. Mookie's just going to get completely denied there as he tries to jump up. But now Zub goes in first. He's going to try and get as much damage as possible. He takes down Atomic. Is he going to be able to get anything else? Mookie actually chases GDK out on point, but White Glow somehow manages to finish off Mookie there. Um, and now Kiss Color and Laser, Laser Bear are going to be the only ones alive left on this middle. Trying to do as much damage to the soldier. Shadowburn actually gets taken down by Laser Bear. Now he can meet up with his medic and repush and try and take this point from Forsaken. Soldier and a scout versus a scout and a medic versus a soldier. This is going to be a battle. Forsaken's actually going to take down Lazy Bear and Kiss is trying to do as much damage as possible with that crossbow. He's not going to get it and he's going to get destroyed by a nice rocket from Forsaken. So that was just um, unlucky. Uh, yeah, actually, like um, it was well played against Shadowburn there, but. I don't know, Forsaken just too good or something, or just it was the wrong position. Forsaken controlling in chat with, a, with, 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 with a nice cry of Highlander, so uh, obviously blaming the fact that they're all Highlander players on him. From Yankai. Yeah, the yeah. ball is once again in GG well played pro's court. They're going to be pushing onto this Spire, trying to just slow siege it, try and get as much damage out as possible to the players who are away from their medic. His color just, just spawning into trash right now. Yankpai's going to get in aggressive. He's not going to be able to do anything and is going to get shut down. But GDK might actually get caught out here. He's on 34 HP flying through the choke. They're going to pick Spicy, but is there going to be anything and anything else that they can get out from this? So White Blue still got the band. He just popped off now. And they were able to kill all of the heavy classes. Kisakala with some nice surf though. He's inside trash. I'm not sure if he can survive this. Forsaken's already on him and just picked him off. But it was a nice a uh, nice moment to Uber there for White Glow and they just picked up the whole team almost. Yeah, good time. You can definitely see that GG well played have like, you know, they've they've got the experience together as a team. Yeah, indeed, indeed. 
Um, you but, can see this in the fight. Yeah, definitely, definitely. They're like the, the better cohesion and the fact that they're all shooting it at the same targets is a lot better. Atomic's actually gonna get shut down by Mookie there with a nice crit flare. Might even get something else here. A lot of damage on the players in top lobby, but actually Laser Bear and Hildred are gonna go down. So quite what they're looking for. Shadowburn's in behind. He's gonna take down Kisakala on the point and get shut down himself. But uh, well, there's three up now. Three v three. No medic. The Uber's gonna come in top. Gonna send in. Um, is it going? White Globe. Clean I think losing a nice there. Shot there on loop. Oh yeah, yeah. the pyro just denied them, and they were trying to go top left, but White Globe couldn't because the pyro. Just an item and then Forsaken was on top right pretty much alone without playing. It was out right. Wait, there was a nice saw there, lazy bear. <laughs> yeah, I just heard the <laughs> scream like really loudly in my headphones there. That was really <laughs> strange. I, I wasn't even looking at it. But yeah, that's that's gonna not help giving White Glow an extra 25% there. Um, but see what's gonna happen. I mean, with 1 minute 36 on the clock, this map oh, is basically almost gone. Almost kept the point there. It's a lot is... capture time on it now, and the pest to stay on the last. Oh, they're putting out the heavy in the push this time. Atomic just killing Lazy Bear and Young Play is going down as well. So that's 3 life now for Lazy Panda. Let's see, we have Forsaken in last as a heavy. Oh, he's just getting spammed and got picked off by Muki there. Yeah, White Glove forced to retreat, but I mean, with 1 minute left on the clock, this is essentially gone right now. Uh, Laser Pandas might be looking for just some extra kills just to pad their stats. Zoob's gonna pick up another player there, but no. Doesn't even manage to get that in time. Some nice saves by uh, Shadowburn there. Yeah, so we have two scouts on the server now. They're trying to recap this, but the Uber just got popped off, and there's actually a backup of Spicy. How could this happen? Well, so that's 7 3 for GG Red Fate, and it's 40 seconds on the clock, so they won't be able to do anything more of this. Yeah, but I mean, obviously we've got Turbine coming up next. It's a new map for this season. Obviously it's been played before, I think back in like, what, season 9 or 11 or something like that? I don't know, it was ages yeah, ago. Yeah, it was a couple of seasons ago at least. Yeah, and um, we'll see how they're going to be able to play it and see what, um, after a little bit of scrimming on it, or at least theoretically, see what both teams are going to be able to do on it. This middle is a little bit of a fast, just looking to pad as much as possible. But it does look like late pandas have actually lost it. And uh, although Kiskala does get a nice, nice uh, crossbow onto two, actually gets two kills there with the crossbow. So uh, always like crossbow kills; they're my favourite. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to be the end of our first map. Seven three to GG well played. I've got to say I predicted this a little bit. Um, because as much as I like Lazy Pandas, they are, of course, having roster changes and still sort of a new team, whereas GG well played are, uh, you know, a season and a half experience together now. Plus, you know, you've got GDK and White Glow, which is a ridiculous combination. Indeed, indeed. Like, to be fair, I guess Lazy Pandas just split it up too much in their combo. Like, we often saw uh, Hildus got picked out there and Zoop was just staying somewhere totally else. I don't know if it could be the tactic of them that they split up a bit, but... It's p it probably wasn't the plan that the Hild was just going down really often there. Well, I know from talking to Hildreth before... Oh, sorry. Sorry? What you were about to say? Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, um, essentially, I, I, know, I, know, I know from talking to Hildreth before that both him and Zoob sort of want to main call a little bit, so that might be the... Uh, um, like, both of them trying to main call at the same time not working particularly well. Yeah, it's always a bit weird if you have two players main calling. Like, there are more ways to play Team Fortress. Like, it's not uh, that there's a right way to go and that a wrong way. Like, you can go left and right, and both can be wrong, uh, right. But if you go different ways, then it totally won't work. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, they got a couple of rounds out there, so it's not altogether bad. They are definitely improving from their week uh, week one fixture that I saw. Um, but I mean, if we if I take a quick look at the logs, I don't know if John's got them up right now, but Forsaken actually going huge on forty one kills right there. Yeah, and, forty one to forty. That's a ridiculous yeah. KD there. And out damaging uh, everything on the server by quite <laughs> quite a wide margin. G GDK actually getting out damaged by both his soldiers there as well, which is pretty huge. Yeah, to be fair, you had like 5k heals. Like, this is weird. Even Atomic had more heals than uh, GDK as a demo. So they were playing actually with Atomic as kind of pocket and Forsaken as a, with 13k heals. 
Well, I think that's probably because uh, Atomic spent six minutes of the game on, on Heavy as well. Oh, yeah, to be fair. That's, yeah. But both medics dying quite a lot of times, both sort of sort of e- equaling it out. White guy, obviously because he died less, had slightly more healing. But uh, overall, pretty 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 even in the, the medic stats and generally sort of towards the lower end of the table, you just sort of see that, um, well, Hildreth not really doing as much as possible, as, as much as GDK there. And uh, Laser Bear as well, putting on a only 12 frags sitting on the bottom of the board.